everyone, it's Maya, and oh my god, the preparation that has gone into this video, huh. I open the window and it sounds like I am living in an industrial estate for some reason. That is very hard to say. And I knocked over my pint glass of water all over the carpet. But you know, move past it. Let's make a fun video for you. You're a bit more up close and personal with me this time. Normally I'm like back here saying hi. But today we're a bit more zoomed in so you can see every pimple, every freckle. Because we are back with another makeup challenge it's been a while and my makeup challenges are my most popular videos by far so i'm really excited to make another one for you all so i'm jumping on the bandwagon now better late than never and i am doing the challenge where i do my full face of makeup where my brushes are soaking wet i've done all sorts i've done like full face of makeup using one product using one brush using a marshmallow using my mum's makeup using my grand's makeup i've done bloody everything but here's another edition and if you have any other fantastic ideas for like a full face of blank challenge please comment them below and i'll make sure to do more challenge videos because hopefully fingers crossed you'll love it da -da -da. here it is <laughs> we have the water damn you okay bare face and the first step of every makeup tutorial is primer can you hear that i live in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden it sounds like i live in a city Okay, I'm starting out with primer and I'm using the Urban Decay D-Slick Primer. As you can see, I've used it loads because I have hella oily skin and this really does help. I know some people do use a brush for primer, but personally, I use my phalanges. So this is kind of a cheat step because I'm just going to use my fingers because it's not a brush. Did I really just dab? Are we in 2016? It's all fun and games now, but once I start actually using brushes, which is the next step, it's all gonna go downhill from there. Cheat step complete. Next step is foundation. Just the thought of foundation mixing with water and it like curdling on my face. Not a good thought. I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation for this. And for foundation, I normally use my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Typical Maya, they have not been cleaned. I think I'm gonna dot the product on my face, then wet my brush, then blend it in. So, oh my god, I'm like cringing at the thought, okay. I should have really brought a towel. <laughs> it's dripping! Go time. Oh, it's dripping on my face. Oh, this is not a pleasurable feeling. Oh my, oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I'm getting water ported. I'm just gonna try and blend it out a bit more. It just keeps dripping. It just keeps dripping when I blend. I don't like that. I'm not gonna lie, it has like covered things, but not as much as I want it to, so I think I'm going to do another layer as much as that pains me. I'm so streaky. I really hope you can see how like cakey this is, and I know good lighting solves everything, but oh my god. It's really, really sticky for one and it is so streaky. Keep your moisture for your beauty blender, not your brushes. <laughs> now it's kind of dried a bit and settled. It is so sticky, it feels like I have a face mask on. Next step is concealer and for this I will be using the new Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. It's brought out some new shades. I am in fair. I love this concealer so much. I'm so glad they have it in more shades now. And much to my dismay and sadness, I use the same brush for <laughs> concealer as I do foundation. So we're back in with this bloody buffer brush. Uh. Hopefully this is gonna give us some good news and redeem the makeup look. Powder's next and I have chose to use my loose powder, which is Airspun. Please save me. First of all, in my routine, I go under my eyes with powder with this brush. And it's suddenly dawning on me now that I'm going to have to wash my brushes after this video. Ugh, more hard labour. Have you seen how murky the water's gotten after the foundation and concealer? <laughs> Dare you if I to drink it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is not the same shape. Okay, I'm going to dip it and see how it goes. Oh, hell yeah! That's picked up a lot of product. Oh, oh! Oh my god, the texture is so weird. It feels dry, but it's not dry. I'm just going to do my nose the same way. That's what it looks like now. 
And then to set the rest of my face, I go in with my big Eco Tools big fluffy brush. It's huge. This is going to take up a lot of water because it's massive. Oh, that looks odd. Oh my god, it's really making my face like itch now. Why have I got an itchy face? Next up is bronzer, and for these kind of few steps, I've chose to use my Sleek Face Form Kit. Mainly because I don't use it that often and don't want to ruin my good stuff. <laughs> but I'm going to use this brown shade to bronze, and I normally... Wow, my nose stings! I'm going to use this brush to bronze because it's what I normally use. Swirl it around a bit, get it all, all soaked up. <laughs> it's gone so small. <laughs> Water everywhere. <laughs> that does not look healthy for the makeup palette, may I say. Holy cannoli. It's turned into like a watercolour. There's no turning back from this. How, how, how do I save this? Even when I try and do it lightly, it looks like I've got mud on me. Oh my God. Oh my god! You know what this kind of reminds me of? Um, if you've seen my opposite contour video, it kind of turned out something like this. So, you know, if you want to watch a similar video from when I was like 14, go watch that. Let's use the old Maya trick of going further away and seeing if it looks alright. And this time, it doesn't, which kind of speaks volume because it normally works. <laughs> Moving on next, I'm going to use the blusher in the palette. And the blush brush that I use is this fluffy one from Eco Tools. Guarantee it's gonna look the same and it'll look like someone's punched me in the face with glitter. <laughs> it just looks like a paddle. <gasps> really packs a kick, doesn't it? It's got a lot of glitter in there. That is impressive on the scale of glitterness. So next up is highlighter. I use a fan brush for my highlighter, so I'm just gonna dip this in. I guarantee this will not look this, like the same brush. Oh, it's so small. I'm going in the bit that doesn't have bronzer all over it. Okay, this is gonna be hard to apply, but I'll try. Ooh, girl. That looks like an incredibly strong cream highlighter, but I'm not complaining. Look at that. Mm, Vogue. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to relish this moment because the next step is eyebrows and I'm using my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Espresso for this. Very dark, a lot could go wrong and I am using my Tarte eyebrow brush for this. It's kind of giving me hope because it's a smaller brush. Oh hell. Oh no. Oh hell, this is very pigmentish. <laughs> Look at the difference. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with my eyebrow drawing on skills because I'm not normally the best, but I mean, quite impressed. Eyeshadow is next. Ooh, using wet brushes during eyeshadow is something that isn't kind of weird. So hopefully this won't go as bad as everything else. I'm using my Morphe 35R palette. Very pretty. And I'm gonna start off with a crease color. I'm gonna go into this color here with a fluffy Morphe blender brush. This is the M139. And you know what we need to do now. Yep. Oh! Can we blend is the question. And I think the answer to that question is no. It has put a lot of pigment on my eyeshadow that I wouldn't, I know, I normally don't get that much pigment from Morphe eyeshadow. So this, this is, this has really worked. It's so colourful, but hopefully I can make it work. Next up, I'm going to use this flat packing brush to put a kind of bold colour on my lid. And the colour I'm going to be using is this one. I cannot wait to do my makeup with dry brushes now. <laughs> I'm not going to take it for granted. Now this is the step where people commonly use wet brushes, so I'm praying it goes well. Oh damn, that's really got a lot on. That's actually worked beautifully. For the challenge, I think I'm doing all right for my eyes. And the last step for eyeshadow is I'm going to use this tiny little fluffy brush for under my eyes. 
and I'm going to use this shade which is a bit of a darker kind of rusty colour or hell <laughs> It's very bold. I do not know how I'm going to blend this. Well, her, go me. I think I did a really good job for the eyeshadow. As celebration, please leave a like on the video. It would be much appreciated. <laughs> the next step for wet brushes is eyeliner. And I have my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in black ink. I'm going to be using this tiny, 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 tiny little brush for my eyeliner because... If I use a big one, God knows that'll go awfully. And I don't want to ruin this masterpiece. I'm surprised with myself. FYI, I've just knocked over the pint cup of water again all over the carpet. I'm clumsy. But honestly, I've really, really surprised myself with that step. I genuinely think it made the brush like smoother. Haha, <laughs> next one is another cheat step because for mascara you don't use a makeup brush. I use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara for that which is an incredible drugstore mascara if you're looking for one. And it seems that the last step is also a cheat step because it's liquid lipstick and I don't use a brush. I'm using my Revlon Ultra Matte Lip Colour in Seduction. Even though this makeup look does look very crap in some places, like the foundation and the bronzer, I think, for this overall challenge, I think I did really well. Not to blow my own whistle or anything. Woo! Just to let you know, if you don't know already, I also have a full, massive playlist of all of my makeup challenge videos. I've done a lot. So if you like this one and you'd like to watch a few more, the link will be in the description if you want to go and take a look at that. Comment below which step you think in this makeup routine went the worst. Personally, I think it was bronzer, but let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, that would mean the absolute world to me if you haven't already. And if you'd like the video, that'd be great. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye. OMG, it's Maya. She has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments, lifestyle too. You'll never get bored. OMG, it's Maya.